And if you are there, say amen. And the rib, listen. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from the man, made he a woman and brought her unto the man. Now the point here, the key verse is verse 23. And Adam said, This is now what? Bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh she shall be called woman why because she was taken out of man watch this so the wife that adam married was made of the same material the same substance the same ideology the same conviction are we getting some points there now so adam married a woman who was made of the same substance if she was a lion their substance will not be compatible so we see compatibility as a key here it had to be a woman who was taken out of him had the same composition with him spiritual composition psychological composition biological composition you never marry a man or a woman that does not sustain the same composition with you there will be big trouble I wanted to talk on Genesis 24 the story of Isaac that's the first show in the Bible where a man goes to look for a wife for another person. But let's just jump that. Points to note. There, are no, there is no physical formula provided for finding a wife. But there are scriptural guidelines. There is no physical formula in the Bible. The Bible scatters guidelines. And I've been able to bring five scriptures that if you use, they will guide you to make a very godly decision. Ready? Number one, Proverbs 18.22. Proverbs 18.22. If you can help us, media, let's just hurry up. Proverbs 22. Proverbs 18, verse 22. Okay, look up, please. Read with me, inside and outside. One, two, read. Who saw what? find it a wife find it a good thing and obtains favor so automatically the bible shows us that the process of getting a wife will demand responsibility on the part of the man there will be action it will involve you the word fine it then say whosoever picks a wife or whosoever prays a wife to come whosoever finds a wife it gives an idea of searching it gives an idea of desire that means there will be commitment if you want to get married action will be required on your own part the bible says whosoever finds a wife you're not going to sit down where you are and want a lady to come and meet you it's not going to happen that way regardless of whether you saw a vision or not there will be an initiation there will be a step you must take number two amos chapter 3 verse 3 it buttresses on genesis chapter 2 amos 3 verse 3 very quickly please amos 3 verse 3 this is the grand key I believe to a successful marriage and relationship the key to a successful marriage is not love it has been proven again and again that love is not enough to keep marriage can two work together except they what be agreed the word be agreed is the word compatible 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 measures your degree of agreeableness spiritual agreeableness psychological agreeableness similarity in ideologies about god about money about life about parenting two will work together if they are compatible are you getting what i'm saying now very important that means come that means it doesn't matter whether i saw her in a vision or in a dream whether i saw myself wearing a bow tie and she was wearing a white wedding gown and a flower came from heaven and said this flower is your marriage flower i don't care what you saw or did not see if there is no compatibility imagine for instance that this is my wife i get married to this young lady right and i'm praying in tongues or she is praying in tongues and i'm turning and say what is that 
I don't believe in praying in tongues. Two are not working together. I believe in spending and wastage. I believe in my ego. I rather let children die to be giving donations to church. And that's not her mindset. You see that there is friction. So what is your ideology about God? Bless you. What is your ideology about God? What is your ideology about money? What is your ideology about culture? Culture. Culture. What's your ideology about ministry? A man of God, for instance, goes to get a lady because she's fine. Have you seen whether what is her passion about ministry? Otherwise, she will be fine for nothing and destroy your church. When she's supposed to be a model, she cannot sacrifice. She can't lay down her life to be the mother figure for the church. Is God speaking to us? I want you to write this down and start it. Never. I don't care what you see in the spirit. Never, brothers, ask a lady out who you are not compatible with. You are going to destroy her or she will destroy you. Even if she does not have every ideology straightened out, does she have the teachability? Sisters, does he have the teachability? It's not just that he's in a jeep. What is his ideology about managing challenges? Otherwise, you are a Christian. You will get married to him. He tells you he's a Christian. And the next thing, he brings the tail of an antelope. Or the tail of any animal. And hangs it as a jazz. And says, see, I know I'm a Christian. But let me tell you, my great grandfather had this thing. It's like that in our culture. Everybody brings it. If you don't understand, just keep it there that's supposed to be a christian he wakes up in the morning and he's making incantations on that tail and you are saying my goodness what did i get married to and you know by spiritual intelligence that you are in trouble but you claimed you were marrying a rich man now you've married disaster even if you never see one vision even if you never hear anybody's name by the time you find a lady that is compatible